Okay, so I got a question here in my email from someone, and they want to know uh, what is the best software for creating animations for games, and why. Um, good question. And of course, I'm going to say that uh, the best software out there for creating animations it's uh, Crazy Talk Animator 3. Um, now let's answer why this is the uh, the best solution for animators and game developers. Alright, so I'm going to show you why animators and non-animators are using Crazy Talk Animator 3 to animate um, their games. So even if you have no experience creating animations, after watching this video you should be able to uh, create your own animations for your games. Okay, so let me close this here and uh, let me go to actor here. Uh, I'm gonna go to character. Now we can select from uh, a broad range of different uh, character types here. Uh, presets, animations, and a ton of templates. Okay, let me just uh, select something here to show you. Example, uh, it is a uh, Teddy or Ted Ted S. I think it's. I think it stands for uh, Ted Sideways. And uh, let me just go to animation here. I'm gonna go to motion, perform, and I believe walk is here somewhere. Elastic side motion, move. Okay, here, here we go. So we have here um, run start and run loop. And um, you can just drag this again and he will run again. Okay. But instead of that, uh, you can actually open this here. Find the, uh, the animation. Motion. Uh, bring this up. And, uh, there it is. Whatever. Okay, so running loop. So just... Uh, Loop it a few times and play it. Uh, running animation. Let me uh, uh, start this over. Drag the animation. And we have run. Uh, this is break. I think this is stop. Now let's just uh, play this. Okay, just like that. Uh, if you look at um, games like Limbo, but, uh, it would I wouldn't be surprised if um, they actually used uh, Crazy Talk Animator to um, create their. Um, their animations because if you look at these animations they are pretty similar to um, to Limbo okay even if they didn't use the software uh, your animation will look pretty similar to that now a lot of people don't bother with those uh, but you you know if you want to be more detailed you can uh, if it was me I would just uh, add the uh, looping animation for your game all right, so let me just uh, flip my character here. So that's 20 frames. Uh, let me export these frames. Okay, go to render. And we're gonna go render image. And uh, we're gonna go PNG. We wanna render uh, our sequence. And I think that's fine there, uh, but I think that's a little too big there. Maybe we wanna only render a small square here for our for our animation. Uh, let me unlock that there, and the width. So let's make it um, 320. Maybe center the. Um, uh, 
make this um, six under. That's the reason. I go to the camera here and um, adjust the uh, the position of the character. Okay, let me sure that. Let's make sure that the. Um, there's no clip in there. That's fine. He doesn't go upside the frame. Uh, okay. So let me uh, export this. Render the image. They would recommend this. So let me create a project here. Uh, go to platformer uh, template, and uh, let me just delete this bunch of uh, stuff from the front there. That's for mobile devices, and I'm going to change the uh, maybe the screen size. Uh, make this at twelve eighty by seven twenty. Go to our scene here, and I believe you can select. Can we select all at once? And I think it's fine there. So let me run this and uh, see what happens. And here is our idle animation. So delete that there. Okay. Okay, so let me uh, use that animation we just created in the Crazy Talk Animator. Edit object, just one frame. Now for the walk, and uh, we are going to delete all of these. Actually, just select them all like this and delete selection. Let me just play this, see what it looks like. be a little too big we might probably want to resize the animation but with everything being 4k these days uh, you kind of want this kind of graphics to be like this uh, now this is the actual player here uh, I don't know how that's gonna work let me just try it out Yeah, we kind of have to adjust that there. Let me make that visible. See what's going on there. We have two choices. We can make the box bigger or we can simply change the uh, uh, the white position of the, uh, the box there. Because that's the actual collision, not the graphic. Basically, the um, that red box is driving uh, our animation there. So let me just fix that there. Okay, so our condition. Okay, here it is. It's the second line there. Uh, this I will set it to maybe just zero, meaning just delete it. And for the Y position, maybe go like minus. I don't know, like uh, one fifty. See how that works. Press play. Okay, it kind of works. I think it needs to come down there. Oh my god. Uh, what is that? Three pixels? 119 to 120 but <laughs> maybe it's 22 22 there we go oh my god it's gonna be like 23 or something 20 I'm gonna I'm gonna go 24 just just to be on the safe side there. 24 
that's not bad that I think we can get away with uh we might even be okay with just um just twenty two I think just even go twenty one yeah twenty two twenty two and I believe the Y, I mean the X is fine, I think. I think the X is uh, perfect. So let's not show the uh, X. Um, um, let's, let's hide the box, I meant to say. And there we go. There is our uh, character imported from um, crazy talk animator super simple nothing complicated you can do this in maybe 10 minutes or maybe less uh, there's a broad range of different animations and different animation packages you can buy uh, or you can make them yourself you can animate this manually if you wanted to uh, I have a ton of videos uh, down in the description below where you can um, uh, you can check them out and learn how to um, uh, animate by hand, okay? Uh, using keyframes and um, combine keyframes with some of the templates. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the most part, I would just use these um, animations just because it's faster. And um, at the end of the day, if you did it with a, with a template, or you did it by hand. Actually, nobody cares. They just want to see your game working. Okay, so you can actually customize these characters whatever way you want. You can go to um, the composer there and uh, replace any part you want. I mean, you can use the um, the parts you find in. In the software or you can go to their website and they have like literally millions and millions of uh, different um, uh, characters and anything you can think of is in the real illusion website and even, and even if you don't you can still create your own or simply use the ones that come in the software by default Okay, so you can actually launch this into Photoshop and uh, do it yourself. Let, let, me just, let me just show you here. Manager, Blah. all right, so under Layer Manager, okay, you can uh, launch uh, Photoshop or your preferred external image editor. Okay, so let just let me add another layer here. And uh, let me change the opacity of this. And I'm simply going to um, anything. A lot of people think that uh, if your game is uh, 2D, you have to make it uh, pixel art, but you don't have to. Okay, you can make simple stuff in the um, Crazy Talk Animator. Okay, oops, I meant to do that in green there. Delete that there, delete this layer actually. And, um, there we go. Save it, return to uh, Crazy Talk Animator. You can do the same thing with the eyes. Uh, anything really, you can send it to uh, to Photoshop. I just wanted to uh, to show you. Uh, I always like to use that as a guide there. Easy zombie. Okay. G for 
in the fill tool delete the original save it and there is our character Ok guys, before we close this video, don't forget to uh, smack the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye now.